Well, uh, Mr. Trump is the clearest uh, it's been in a long time, so that was a correct statement. Uh, he could make it a little more clear. Uh, in the Middle East, we're fighting four terror organizations. People think we're fighting uh, ISIS, Al-Qaeda, that's one. Uh, they also know we're fighting Iran, which is actually the number one terror organization in the world today. But we're also fighting the Muslim Brotherhood, financed by Turkey and Qatar, who are half friends, half enemies. We call them frenemies. And we're also fighting the Wahhabis, financed by Saudi Arabia and Pakistan, who are half friends, half enemies. So it's actually more... Uh, uh, Trump is the best we can do, but he still does not have quite the clear enough picture to know that we're fighting four terror organizations at the same time. I cannot remember someone like Trump speak very clearly about Iran, uh, about uh, North Korea. Uh, very, very strong words and very clearly. Uh, this is something that uh, it's new or this is the new administration. We have someone in the White House that don't afraid to speak the truth about the world. Yes, uh, yes. Uh, Trump has a good vision of what's going on. Uh, not all of his security advisors are uh, on the same page, uh, but I, knowing Trump, um, he'll just <laughs> make sure that the security advisors come onto the same page. And uh, yes, because uh, we're, we're basically in World War III. Uh, Iran has promised to kill everyone in America, death to America, genocide against America. Now, genocide against Israel, too, but as President of the United States, he has a responsibility to protect us. How much important that the uh, President of the United States speak about Iran like that? Well, it's one thing to speak about Iran, it's another thing to do something about Iran. Uh, the administration hasn't yet realized that there's no non-military solution for Iran in North Korea. When you're dealing with professional terror organizations like that, uh, you, you can't negotiate your differences. And so, um, in the next 15 years, either Iran or America will not exist, as we now know it. Uh, basically, we'll find out which one won't exist in 15 years. It's a new days for Israel? Well, it, it's, it's new days for Israel in the sense that America uh, wants no daylight between America and Israel anymore, whereas President Obama purposely wanted uh, daylight. And do you think uh, Trump is going to cancel the deal with Iran? Well, the deal with Iran doesn't exist. It's all in the imagination uh, of people. Iran never signed the deal. We, there is no deal. And so it's just a question of when America accepts the fact that there's no deal, that it re realizes that it must protect itself. Iran's working on nukes and ICBMs. You only need ICBMs to blow up America. So the plans are there to blow up America. We just can't sit around and think about it. And another question, you come into here, uh, uh, the Netanyahu speech, what do you think is going to be? Uh, well, uh, uh, yes, I'm here for the Netanyahu speech, and, and I'm sure he'll give his usual great defense of Israel and how important Israel is uh, to America. Uh, Amer Israel basically protects America from uh, the four political Islam terror organizations and is therefore vitally important to America. Thank you very much, Ken Abamovich. You're welcome. Good to see you.